I searched through 35,000 Yu-Gi-Oh cards to create this box. Time to do, 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 do. What's up guys, we're back with another, uh, this is really not another, I don't know if we've ever done a video like this, sort of a collection video, but not really. I searched through tons and tons of bulk, those seven giant five row boxes you saw, plus a few other boxes as well, looking for all the cards I have that relate to Edison format. And as I'm sure you know, based on some of my old videos, you guys know what Edison format is, but basically it's like GOAT format in that it's a specific ban list that is used to play like an older format. So back in 2010, there was a YCS and Edison in New Jersey, I think. I always want to say Washington, but I'm pretty sure it's New Jersey. Whatever it is, you guys, it doesn't really matter where it is, but there was a YCS held there, and I think it was the last SJC YCS ever, and it was considered a really balanced format, which, you know, nothing is ever completely balanced. So there is some broken stuff in there, but it still overall has a lot of amazing decks that are super fun to play. It's not overly complicated. There were no pendulums at that point. It wasn't, you know, linking off a million different things. It was a lot like GOAT format in terms of like, you know, you don't lose in one turn or anything like that. There's some slow paced to it but can also have some very powerful monsters there's not terrible cards like graceful charity which by terrible i mean like just annoying to play against graceful charity delinquent duo confiscation all that stuff is banned at this point so none of that exists there are synchro summons which you might be like oh oh no those are white cards that's scary you know it's not effect monsters it's not normal monsters it's not spells and traps what am i gonna do it's actually not that complicated if you are an old school person you've never played synchros they're very very simple and they're very fun like they're pretty powerful i mean obviously the synchros are a lot of what you're trying to do but they're not like overly like you get one synchro out you automatically win or anything like that so enough rambling about that we do have a giveaway before i go through the premise of this video i'm giving away some medicine cards you know it's a bunch of extra deck cards here's some synchros for everybody who's scared of them just like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know down below what you think about this type of video and then about the whatever we talk about you guys can comment on that it doesn't really have to be a specific comment to enter the giveaway and speaking of i have posted giveaway winners recently i finally caught up on those sort of i mean i still have to ship some people's stuff i'm never really caught up because there's always a new giveaway basically every day so i'm just constantly behind it's something that i will never catch up on but i'm trying to say somewhat caught up so make sure you go see if you want on the community tab if you did make sure you send me an email to rodney 34 at gmail.com okay so i've rambled enough so what i did was i grabbed and made this giant box here so i'll do a little just a quick overview of it and then we're kind of go through everything i found this is basically all right this is just a quick overview so this is the monsters extra deck and the monsters and then it's spells and traps i did them alphabetically and everything like that just so it's nice and easy to organize as i go forward because what i've been doing with these cards is i get edison i'm like oh i need to keep this for an edison deck at some point and then i just throw it into a, a five row box which means i never find it it just disappears forever so now what i'll be able to do is when we do an opening i pull an edison card i put it in the edison box and guess what it's not lost anymore. I know exactly where it is. I go search the, uh, you know, all right, extra deck monster. I go to the bees. I pull out Black Rose Dragon. Like, you know, it's that easy. I know, revolutionary being organized. Not something I normally do, but I'm very excited about this. I've done this with GOAT format before, but this is even more important because Edison is actually running tournaments and stuff. I mean, GOAT finally started doing some side events and stuff, but there are actual Edison tournaments you can like top and stuff like that. So I need to be ready. I gotta be ready with all my cards. So we're gonna go through every card I found yesterday. These are all of my Edison cards that I I found and by edison cards i mean like basically i don't know every card that can be used in edison but everything i've seen in a deck that i've played against everything that i've played for everything that's in a deck that i play or just in general i think might refer to edison i put in here now there's some i didn't get or some that i didn't have so i was building a deck for my brother is the reason i ended up doing this because i was pulling out cards for his uh diva zombie deck and i realized hey why don't i make this box where we're going so we're just gonna go through i might show you that deck that i put together at the end so let's start with the extra deck cards they are in order armory arm i basically have all the extra deck monsters they're very similar most people run very very similar extra decks when it comes to edison there are usually a few different cards like some cards like black rose are almost in every single one stuff like stardust is on almost every single one you know a lot of them are very similar and i do not have a lot of every single card but i do have a lot of the, all the dude cards because i bought a bunch of dude back when it came out which is dual devastator and they were guaranteed to have the same cards every time basically a structure deck so i have tons of reenact tons of black rose everything else that was in here i think catastrophe was in there so there's a lot of great cards so a lot of reenact stuff i just wanted to show you guys kind of what i put together i will probably go through and show my edison deck again uh and the deck that i was building while we're doing it so i only have a couple drill warrior as you can see but not a great deck anymore people aren't really playing it as much dark ends i apparently only have one besides the ones i do have three four decks built now so i guess i probably have some there i do 
do have a couple of nice cards. Not a ton of it was like high end stuff because most of the time I've either sold that or it's in another deck. But I did find a few ultis. So there's the Doom Kaiser from Battles of Legend. Another Doom Kaiser. A lot of different versions. I didn't really organize the versions at all because it was just taking too long. Miss Worm, I have a couple of those. Stardust Dragons. I really didn't have as many Stardusts as I thought I would because there's a million Stardust prints. Probably because it's actually worth money, so I've sold them before. Urbellum, I think, is in a deck. So I put a couple of them in there that I found. Chimera Tech Fortress is like a staple because if they ever side in Cyber Dragon or whatever, you can just make your own Cyber Dragon with this. So uh, it's kind of weird. I do have a couple of Absolute Zeros. I usually sell these because they're like 15 bucks or something crazy, but I did have two more. And then a Dark, or a, not a Dark guy, an Elemental Hero Gaia sometimes is in the Diva Hero deck. So that's all of my extra deck stuff. I definitely don't have that much when it comes to the extra deck, but they're usually the same cards. So I have almost a copy of everything, I think. So we're doing okay. Now we move on to the monsters. These are Abyss Soldier. I don't know why this is in here. I think this is a goat card. So that probably should go with a goat deck. Armageddon Knight obviously is great for all those dark types. Uh, uh, Light Swarns, I don't remember so so some of the archetypes like lights one and stuff i started putting them in there and i couldn't remember if it was actually a goat format card like this is light destruction so you could use it i don't know if anybody does or not i can't remember i do have a light a light sworn deck i don't even remember if it's in there okay i didn't did i not sleeve that card up whoops i tried to sleeve every single card while i was going through because like half of these were not sleeved before so i did same thing with blizzard i don't remember if, was blizzard legal back then i can't remember bora pretty sure was uh, you know, the big one obviously is Gale because Gale is just super strong. So I did have a bunch of Gale. So pulled those out a uh, bunch of black wings. I don't remember which black wings were goat, which weren't. I'm pretty sure sure I was, but honestly, I haven't really played the black wing deck. So I'm not totally sure. So I just threw them all in here. So if I ever need to find them, I know where to find them. There's more value value. That's the big one. Value turbo still pretty big in Edison. Zephyros, no idea. Blaze wing. Same thing. I feel like there's a Gemini deck in Edison, but I don't play it much. So I, I threw it in there. I'm mostly familiar with the Diva Hero deck and then, you know, all the older ones, not like the newer ones, like the, uh, what's the big one that's uh, fairies? I don't have too many fairy cards. Uh, card Troopers, I have a ton of those. Celestia, you know, just more lights, what's up? Cyber Dragons are usually a side deck card, but I have a, obviously a bunch of Cyber Dragons because it's been printed a million times. Cyber Valley, I feel like gets some play. I don't remember which deck. Dandy, of course, for, you know, Dandy, is it Dandy Warrior? Is that what it's called? It's not very popular anymore. Dark Arm Dragon, obviously, is a big one. I had a few of those. Dark Nephthys and Dark Valkyria. See, that's a Gemini deck. I feel like Dark Nephthys is in something, but I can't remember. DD Sail, I'm pretty sure, is just a goat card, but I put it in there just in case. DD Crows are used. That's actually in the deck I was building. Debris Dragon, not as popular. There's another card that's not sleeved. Yeah, so Deep Sea Diva. I only had one, but I have a couple of decks with them in there, so I do have, like, five copies, maybe. Malicious, which are... These are actually probably decent now because they're at three in the... Uh, you know, current ban list and everything. Plasma is another thing. I was like, I think Plasma is actually used in a deck, but I can't remember because it's a 2007 card, so it was legal. Uh, Doom Caliber Knights are usually side deck. I do have one Dimensional Alchemist, which is in the fairy deck, so cool. And I think this card is maybe used somewhere, but it wasn't used in the zombie deck I was making, so maybe not. And there is the frogs, of course. I had a bunch of dupe frogs. I just played against those the other day. It was terrible. Eclipse of Wyvern. The Elemental Hero Neos Alias. I want to build this Elemental Hero deck with Skyscraper at some point, so I do have a bunch of Elemental Hero Neos Alias. There's a uh, Ocean as well. And there's more where that came from. A bunch of Elemental Hero Ocean. Uh, Elemental Hero Stratos, of course. A pretty great card. I mean, just search for whatever Elemental Hero you want. Uh, does it say elemental hero? Yeah, you just add a hero card. That's right. So you can get evil heroes and stuff. Yeah, that's right. Because in my diva deck, I can grab this for Caius and stuff. So very cool. One Fog King. I still don't know. Somebody explain to me, what is the point of this in the side deck? Because it's in my side deck. And I still don't know when I would ever side it in. Fossil Dona Patch Cephalo. Pretty annoying card. I actually run it in my deck. So can't complain. We have a uh, Garoth. Uh, Giant Rat. I don't know if anybody uses this, but just in case, like it's a utility card. So... I figured I'd throw it in there. Darius, uh, I forgot. It's just a bunch of Gladiator Beast stuff. I have a Gladiator Beast deck, so uh, Glow Up Bolt, very cool. Gores, I have a ton of Gore. I found all these Dark Legend scores. It was like 10 of them. So yeah, there's those uh, Grave Keepers. Grave Keepers, I don't know if anybody plays this except Spy and Guard, but uh, I pulled those out anyway. So uh, there's a uh, Guard and a Spy. Oh, wait, well, I can't flip these around. Grave Keepers, Spy, because they are in order. Harvest Angel of Wisdom. Why does this feel like it's an Edison card? Maybe it's in the fairy deck. I don't know. When this card is destroyed by battle, set to the graveyard, you can add one counter trap from your graveyard. It doesn't seem that good, but it's not. It's 1800, so it's not small. I have a bunch of honest, you know, if you're playing Light Sworn. Oh, that one's not sleeved. All right. Yeah, a bunch of honest. Very cool. And guess what? More honest. There are more honest. Ill Blood, another one. I'm playing zombie in, the, or I'm making the zombie, but it is Gemini, so maybe it's a Gemini card. I 
think it was legal in tactical evolution so it should be legal i just don't know if it's good infernity is another one it's like ringing a bell that it might be an edison deck I didn't necessarily research everything. Uh, Krebons, I only had one of these, surprisingly. I say I am only had one. There's cards everywhere. Uh, I looked through a lot of it and I could have missed stuff, but I think there was only one. There's a few Light and Darkness Dragons, Lone Fires uh, for the plant deck. The thing is the Phoenixian Cluster is so expensive. I have one of those, but somebody might buy it for me. Lumina, I do need to grab some of those at some point, but uh, so Lila, the Machina Fortress. I like the Machina deck. I, only, I have a bunch of the Fortress and I don't have the gear frame. I actually do have gear frame in my Machina deck. I guess I could just pull those out because I'm not going to play that and throw it in here and then I'd have some for the Edison stuff. So that'd be good. Mizuki, I just thought about that because I forgot I had the Machina deck till a second ago when I was grabbing my Edison decks and realized that Mobius. I don't know if Mobius is super popular. Mystic Tomato is sometimes used. Necro Gardena, uh, just a lot of Necro Gardenas. Yeah, and then Neospatian Grammal is occasionally used as well. We're almost to the end of the of the monsters. Speaking of uh, fairies, I, these are all, there's multiple in there, but I think there's a play set. Phantom of Chaos, we have a bunch of those Phantom of Chaos. Phoenix Gearfried, I think, is in the Gemini deck. He is 2,800, so I don't know. Maybe not. Plague Spreader Ulti. I didn't even know I had this. Like, I have one in my deck, and I thought I only had one of these, and then I found another Ulti. So I was like, oh, cool. So another Plague Spreader Ulti is pretty awesome. We have Quick Draw Synchron. I need a first dead, but they're crazy expensive. Ryza, not super popular. Red Eyes Wyvern. I only have one of these, and this is used in the Dragon deck, so I do need to get more of those. Raikos. I need to, I want to have at least a play set of everything, but then if you put it in a deck, then you don't have a play set anymore, you know what I mean? Raikoki, more of a goat card, uh, could be used in a zombie, zombie deck. Snowman Eater for the side deck. Spirit Reaper is actually the deck I'm building. Summoner Monk, I feel like somebody uses this, but I can't remember which deck it was, so maybe, maybe that's not true. Swap Frog, only up one. Dark Creator, another thing that was like, maybe that's something people use. I can't remember though. All right, last of the effect monster or the monsters in general. Tribe, somebody used Tribe against me. I thought it was a goat car, but somebody used it. Okay, Titanial, so I, I threw it in there for a couple of them. UFO Turtle, probably never gonna use. Unifrog for the frogs. Vanities, just because people hate themselves. Uh, Wolf, the Lightsworn Beast. XX Saber, Dark Soul. I couldn't remember this one, if that's usable or not. Zombie Master for the zombies, the Borgs. And, wait, oh, these got mixed up. Oh, Zaborg needs to be at the beginning. What is he doing over here? The beginning of the Zs, I should say. Yeah, swap those. Okay. All right, we're on to the spells. Uh, we have Allure of Darkness, of course. You know, Allure is a big card. I have a lot of those. Black Whirlwind, I got a couple of those. We got Book of Moons, of course. I have a bunch of these in the goat box as well. Book of Life, I actually had a lot more of these than I thought, which is cool for the zombies. Book of Moon, you're in the wrong spot. The Platinum, I guess, I thought it was a Book of Life. Okay, Brain Control only had one extra of these. Uh, creature Swap, I don't remember if anybody uses that, but I threw it in a ton of the emergency calls foolish burial i had a few extra uh future fusion not i mean it's used like a one of and a couple of just basically the diva deck so don't need a ton of those giant true nades which are pretty popular then we have more giant true nade a bunch of proving ground i mean probably too many proving ground but i opened like an entire turbo pack 400 pack box you guys can go watch that video if you want but obviously i pulled a lot of this common uh, so I decided to keep all of them, you know, get some use out of it. Gold Sark, don't remember if anybody used it, but I pulled out a few of them. Heavy Storm, obviously big. We got a four in one right there, the Portuguese. Uh, Heavy Storm is, is legal. It's at one, I think. So there's still some crazy cards in Edison. Uh, Lightning Vortex, this is a, like a German copy or something. Yeah, ultimate rare. So pretty cool. I got a few that are not German. A limiter removal for those cyber dragons. I played against this. Somebody flipped this up on me. It's a quick play. So, I mean, kind of a scary battle trap if they do want to use it but then of course it destroys the monster but you know it can save i'm pretty sure it did save the game for them because if they didn't have that i was in good shape mark of the rose this is uh i don't remember which deck this is plants yeah obviously uh, duh okay yeah black rose dragon of course uh mind controls got a bunch of extras of those mind controls we got miracle fusions of course for you know summoning the absolute zero and stuff my body's a shield i do have the shatter foil one which is a pretty cool dual terminal uh msts obviously i mean in the goat deck or the goat box i have tons and tons of these and i have a ton more right here i mean mystical space typhoon is one of the most printed cards ever necro valley is good in every format so i pulled out a couple of those oh i didn't sleep this one bunch of noblemen actually and a lot of them are original pharaoh server like magic card 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 like a ton of original pharaoh server ones overload fusion i mean if you do play the cyber dragons or something pot of avarice there's an ulti korean one which actually looks really good honestly like it looks really amazing 
amazing. Unlimited. It's not super expensive or anything, but very cool. Pre-mats, I don't not a lot of people using those, I don't think, but I did put a couple in there. Rotas, obviously very good if you're getting a warrior card. Here's the last of the spell cards and some being magic. We have Rotas, uh, Shrinks. I have a ton of these come all the special editions, Strike of Neos. We've opened a bunch of those. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot. We have skyscrapers, so I do want to build that deck, as I said, with the elemental heroes. It seems fun. Um, Smashing Ground, I did not have a ton of these, only a couple extra. Solar Recharge, you know, I have way more than I will ever need. Oh, there's a Skyscraper hanging out in there. Yeah, way more. I'm not going to play that many Light Sworn decks, so I don't think I, those are ever going to be used, but I have them in here just for the heck of it. Uh, Swords of Revealing Light. We have the... Um, Upstart Goblins. Okay, yeah, so then Upstart, I do actually play Upstart in my deck, so... They're very, they're nice for like having something to side out. It's like you need to side out to side out the upstarts, you know, you don't necessarily need them. But then it's like, why didn't you just start with the other cards? So, you know, but so, you know, gives you an option, more flexibility, I guess. Oh, and I should mention, uh, none of these are for sale. So if you message me, they're not gonna be for sale. So this is just stuff that I want to have to build decks for myself. Plus a lot of this isn't expensive. So it's like, you know, $2 card, probably not worth selling anyway. So I'd rather just have it in my box. So, Beckoning Light, we have Birthrights, we have Bottomless. I did not have a lot of Bottomless, surprisingly. I need to put some of those aside. I did have a lot of Call of the Haunted, obviously. There's a bunch of those in the GOAT box, too. Chaos Trap Hole, Compulse, Dark Bribes. I actually had a lot more of these than I thought. They were in some structure deck, so I have a bunch of them. Dimensional Prison, kind of hard to find. I did have a few extras. Dust Tornadoes, surprisingly low, but I bet I have a bunch in the GOAT box. Uh, Gladiator War Chariot, that one's great, but I have a Glad deck anyway. Hero Blast. I think this is used in the hero deck, so I pulled out two of those. Uh, Icarus, I pulled out everything, by the way. I didn't just, like, leave anything out, so that just means I have two. Icarus Attack, Mirror Force, obviously I have a million of those because they've been printed a lot. Phoenix Wing Wind Blast is a big one in Edison's really good card. Side decking, pulling the rugs really good, so I was glad I had a few of those. And then uh, some Royal Decrees. And then the last of the traps here, a bunch more Royal Decrees from, I think this is from Dude as well. I mean, just have a bunch of those. I do have a uh, couple of DB2... I think, and then I, th I might have had a TP, I don't remember. So even more of that, and then that's a DB2, and then Retro Pack 2, so I have a bunch of random ones. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror, not used as much as Light Imprisoning Mirror, I don't think, but still there. Uh, Solemn Judgments, I have a, a few, actually not as many as I thought. Spell Shield Type 8, a few of those. Starlight Road, Torrential Tributes, and one Trap Dust Shoot. I thought I had more of these, but they're expensive, so I probably sold all of them trap stuns and that's basically everything now this isn't a perfect box this is just what i had out of my bulk so i'm hoping to add to this and make it the perfect edison box with every possible card you could ever want because there's a bunch that i'm missing like on the deck that i was putting together i'm going to show you guys this deck real quick i built it for my brother but I, there's a few cards missing uh some of them i think is burial from a different dimension this is basically diva zombie so it's a couple divas and then like, you know, it's basically an order. I just net decked it off edison.com, which you guys can find a lot of deck lists on edisonformat.com or something like that. There's a lot of great info about Edison decks and you know what, if you want to build something, you can find a lot of different lists there. So I just did that and just helped me to get started. So Mystic Tomatoes, I mean, this is just what I was putting together. I found all this stuff in my bulk and stuff. I was missing a uh, burial from a different dimension. I was missing, uh, what else was I? I think I was missing three main deck cards. Yeah, because I got three sleeves here. Burial from different dimension. I was missing return from the side deck of, from a different dimension. Two more cards. What were they? Here's the extra deck, which are pretty standard for the most part. A lot of them are similar. Like Goyo. I only had like one extra Goyo or maybe zero extra Goyo. Oh, Goblin Zombie. I only had one Goblin Zombie. So I like only, I didn't have any extras. Just one of those. And then I need one more card. I can't remember what it was. So that's the deck I was putting together. I basically got it all from bulk, which is pretty wild, actually. All right, here's my deck. The reason, yeah, as I said earlier, I was building this because I wanted my brother to have a deck, and he said he wanted a zombie deck. So I was like, all right, so I'll, I'll put together an Edison zombie deck for you, and basically almost completed it. So I, I got my friend VOPs hooking me up with the last four cards. So I'm basically going to have the whole thing uh, very quickly. So here's the one I currently play. I actually just uh, replaced him with these World Championship Qualifier sleeves with the double sleeve, you know. So I got basically it goes in upside down. So it goes right side up and then upside down. These are like KMC over sleeves or something like that. This is out of order. I don't have anything in order here, but I'm going to show you what I have. I, I main deck this, which is hilarious. A lot of people get surprised by that. So I'm giving away my secret sauce. Not really that secret, but they get shocked by it. Uh, you know, basically, it's nothing special here. It's just Diva Hero. I mean, some of the cards are 
are nice. I do need to take notes of what I need to upgrade. So like this Deep Sea Diva needs an upgrade. I'm trying to max it out at some point. Obviously the Secret Rare Dad from Kaiba Collection, not high enough rarity. I think the Ghost is fine. It could be the MRL first, something like that. Rain Control. I mean, this one, I have three different versions of Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. I have the Champion Pack, I have the First Dad Ulti, and then a Secret Rare. So it's unlimited. So that one needs to be upgraded. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff like this Miracle Fusion needs to be an ulti. You know, Spine Gilman, it doesn't really have a great print. It does have a Shatter Foil, I think, so I, do, I guess I need to get that one. Rhoda, I actually like the Collector Rhoda the best, so I swapped out a first out LOD for this one. Bottomless, those could be upgraded. I do like the Secrets, though. Ulti Stratos, I just love Stratos in Edison. It's so fun. Just add Ocean, add uh, Evil Hero, whatchamacallit, that little dude. First out there, so a lot of cool stuff. Caiuses, I used to have the ultis, don't anymore. I need to upgrade that. There's my ulti Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. It looks beautiful. Saying again, I have a Turbo Pack 6 because I pulled it over a Retro Pack 1. I have one of those in my GOAT deck, but it's not near mint. The upstarts should be Turbo Pack. You know, there's a lot of things I need to upgrade. Yeah, two Fossil Dinos, by the way. So a lot of cool stuff. I mean, I just really enjoy playing this deck. Uh, it's it's Brick City, though. Like, half the time I'll draw, like, two Caius and, you know, Dad and two Miracle Fusions. And you're just like, well, I, I lost, you know. Here's my Gores. This is, like, one of my favorite cards just because it's faded. It got faded in the package. It was left out somewhere. But it looks really amazing. People are always like, whoa, look at that card. Yeah, I, I really like the Gores. looks great. I hate this card because it's it's an ulti high rarity. It literally will almost bend in half when I try to put it in a sleeve. It's so flimsy. There's the gold rare, much more stable on that one. A couple, I mean, if you're going to max them out, then these would have to be, you know, SJC. Ulti, Cyber Dragons, those are just the, the cheap ulti, not not the uh, the original. Fog King, ulti, Snowman, the Smashing Ground from Champion Pack. Pretty sure I pulled that. I pulled this one, Champion Pack Trap Dust Shoot. I put it in recently. Uh, a couple dust shoots, that's a common, needs to be upgraded. And then the super rare pulling the rugs, that does have an ulti print. And then, of course, my extra deck, let's just run through this. I love the manga promo. I think it's that's where it's from, right? The manga promo looks really good. Uh, Chimera Tech Fortress, Ally of Justice ulti, Magical Android needs to be first add, Goyo's first add ulti, dual, dual terminal, Colossal, uh, Dark End. Uh, this is, I mean, this is like probably my favorite card in the deck, the Black Rose Dragon, signed by Erica Schroeder. Got it signed at Collecticon. Chelsea actually got it signed. So shout out to Chelsea. Go share first ed. Yeah, I did it to a first ed. Go share Black Rose. I know. I'm insane. And then this one I didn't get signed. I actually bought this at Minnesota. YCS Minnesota from a vendor. And then there's an unlimited and those. So big fan of this deck. I really enjoy Edison. I think it's super cool. And I'm super pumped for this box. It was a ton of fun just pulling everything out, going through bulk and just watching shows and stuff while I did it. So I had a lot of fun doing that. Did it on the weekend because we don't stop grinding here on this channel. So yeah, it was just fun. That was why I did it. So make sure to let me know what you think about it in the comments. Make sure to subscribe. And do you do anything like this for your Go format, Edison format, or even current format? Do you have a certain like section or like, it's all organized out with all your different cards? Shout out to Tom Fo Show, Puffet Zadoom, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nana Sai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.